Good morning, folks. Brian Pate from the Pate Realty Group here, uh, talking this morning about Hurricane Florence and the preparations that are going on uh, in regard to that. We are in the process of preparing everything here at our office and thought we'd pass along these things, whether you're a client of ours or not. Uh, we thought we'd pr pass along this information. Number one, uh, the two radio stations that we recommend listening to. Uh, you should have a portable radio, by the way, not your cell phone. You do not know if cell phone service will remain intact uh, through the hurricane, so you need to prepare, be prepared just in case it goes out. So you need to have a radio that you can listen to either on WRAL 101.5 FM or we recommend WPTF 650, or excuse me, 680 AM. Um, go ahead and get your disaster. Have them ready to go. Um, make sure that all of your doors and windows are closed. Um, if you've got furniture sitting on the back that is made of wood, it can be blown away. You need to be very careful with that and go ahead and tie it down or put it underneath a deck or something like that, or potentially even in a garage. Remember that anything that can be picked up, if you can pick it up, it's very easy for it to be brought away. So just be very careful with that. Uh, another recommendation, and keep in mind this is all coming, having grown up in Myrtle Beach and Biloxi and having experienced hurricanes, Fran and Floyd, that's where this is coming from. I remember uh, the last storm to hit us that was this powerful was Fran in 1996. Uh, last week, as a matter of fact, was the anniversary of that one. And we were, our, our family was without electricity for a total of eight days down in Raleigh. So just remember that. Be, be prepared here. If you're prepared and things are fine, then you're better off than you are. If you're unprepared and things are worse than you expect. Um, another suggestion I have for you is turning your freezer down to the coldest setting possible. Uh, and go ahead and take, if you've got stadium cups with water in them, go ahead and uh, fill those stadium cups with water, freeze them, and you can put that into a cooler um, and use it for storing ice or, or anything like that. Um, same thing with the refrigerator, get it between 38 and 42 degrees so that things are as cold as possible uh, in order to help them last longer. Make sure that you unplug your, um, or turn off your propane tanks if you have one. Uh, don't think you're gonna need the fireplace this uh, with the, the, being this time of year based on the temperature that we're expecting, et cetera. So you can go ahead and turn that off and unplug your small appliances. If you leave a computer plugged into the wall during this hurricane and a lightning strike occurs, it could fry that computer. So make sure all of your small appliances, your TVs, things like that are unplugged. Even if the electricity is off, there can be uh, challenges with that. Another thing that I always recommend, again, off of past experience, Fill your gas tank, fill it all the way to the brim uh, and, and keep it full over the next couple of days. You may see a rush on gas here. And if there is electrical or electrical issue, you're gonna have to deal with that. Uh, so be prepared to do so. At the same time, go to the bank, get you some cash so that you can pay for gas. So that if you do, if you are able to get into a grocery store and their electricity is out, you are able to pay cash. We had that happen back in Hurricane Fran. Uh, went in, we went to the, to the Kmart to look at their snack aisle. They could not take credit cards, so we had to pay cash, and they had employees leading us around one person at a time going through the aisles. So keep that in mind. Make sure you have a plan. If you decide to evacuate, go ahead and, and make that move before uh, the impending hit. Right now, it looks like it's gonna be on Thursdays. Uh, or on this Thursday. Uh, for supplies that you need, uh, you need at least a three-day supply of water. Fill up your bathtubs if you have one. Uh, that way, if for some reason there are issues with the, the septic system or the uh, uh, city water and sewer, you're able to take a pitcher of water and pour it into the toilet to help flush the toilets if necessary. Um, Get a copy of all of your personal documents. You need a notebook with birth certificates, passports, etc. Get all of that stuff together so it's ready to go if you need it. Um, you need some food, non-perishable, things that are easy to prepare, that you don't need to heat, things like that. Um, obviously a flashlight. Whatever you do, don't use candles. Lots of fires occur during hurricanes. 
because of the fact that people are using open flames. Stay away from that if you can. I know the folks from B&W Hardware here in downtown Wake Forest have a truck coming tomorrow. They got a whole bunch of stuff. They still got some flashlights and some batteries available for you. For those of you that have generators, they've got gas, uh, portable gas cans, so they can help you out with that. All of your cell phones, your chargers, etc. you need to make sure that everything is charged up and ready to go. Um, may, make sure you've got your emergency contact information. Who are you going to contact uh, when you leave? Who's going to be your point of contact for your family, etc. Um, make sure that your, ho your home is secure. Uh, of course, uh, something as simple as some masking tape across the windows. Put a big X. If you put a big X across them, that'll help if anything shatters. That's especially important uh, with the tornadoes that could suddenly appear off of the, the outer bands of the, the hurricane. So you have to be ready for that. Make sure you got, believe it or not, make sure you've got good shoes. This is not the time to pack the flip-flops. You need closed-toed shoes that are going to protect you. If you're out and walking around and you step on something or if something falls on your foot, you need to be prepared for that. It's a good time to pull out. Uh, believe it or not, snow boots are great for this. Um, if, you've, if you've got a pair of work boots or, or cowboy boots, something like that, it's very good to have. Of course, you need your, uh, you need, you're going to need your um, insect repellent, sub, sunscreen, etc., now, this is important in terms of preparation. If you go ahead, if you've got valuables that you want to record, take photos of them on your camera now. Remember to back up your photos onto Google Drive or Amazon or something like that. You will need that for insurance purposes. So take those photographs. If you've got computers or expensive items, if you've got a car, take photos of the car to show that there was no damage uh, prior to it. Take photos of the exterior of your house so you've got before and after photos. Always beneficial to understand. Um, so after a hurricane, just be prepared to uh, stay in touch, stay on your local news. Um, I know that everybody has a tendency to watch the Weather Channel and listen to the Weather Channel during these types of things, but the local news is going to be able to tell you what's going on locally. The, the governor's already declared a state of emergency in order to mobilize the National Guard and things like that. People are already being asked to leave the beach. UNCW has canceled classes. So there are going to be a lot, of, a lot more people in a small area. There's not going to be many hotel rooms. People are already biting them up like crazy. Um, but just remember to be careful um, with, with, the, with your food prep. Um, if you're using water after the hurricane and there's potential contamination of the water supply, you're going to need water in order to cook with or to boil on a grill, something like that. The good thing is if you've got steaks or chicken or anything like that in your freezer, this would be a great time for a cookout with the neighborhood. Um, I remember after Floyd and Knight, or, uh, Fran in 1996, um, that we ended up getting together with our neighbors and cooking on a grill and we all kind of you know supported each other through the process so there's a lot going on remember to say thank you to your emergency workers remember to keep yourself safe please make sure that you are not making dumb decisions if you don't need to be out in this please don't go anywhere it's it's amazing to me the number of people that think they are so valuable they have to get out there your life is more important than anything else. We just want you to be safe. So I uh, hope you guys are safe. We'll keep you posted on what we hear. Uh, but if you take some time to prepare, it'll make the process 